All right, so let's take a look at arguments. Okay, so in this, you'll always have a passage, and then uh, you'll be asked like whether or not the evidence supports what the author is trying to say. And so, as a starting point, evidence equals data or statistics. So opinions don't matter, and really, even more than that is uh, if you know a lot of these, they tend to be subjects in which you're likely to have an opinion you know, like abortion, uh, pro or con, or uh, gay marriage, things like that, um, tax rates maybe. And so what you're looking for is not necessarily that whether or not you agree <laughs> with the author, that really doesn't matter. So what you're looking for is do they have evidence for the claims that they make? Uh, and this is actually like fairly important uh, in your career as far as being able to recognize evidence. So lots of times, you know, the person or a group that you disagree with still has evidence for what they're saying. You just think there's more evidence on the other side, right? Um, but that's how you really want to be able to work through uh, these type of questions. So like, for example, saying something like uh, minimum wage is too low and raising minimum wage uh, will grow the economy. That is not evidence, okay? There's no data there. Um, where as opposed to if you said that uh, the GDP has increased by X percent when the minimum wage has been raised, well, that is evidence. Uh, I'm not saying that it's true or not. Like, I don't know that. Um, but like, that's an example of evidence. You want to see that like X percent or some kind of growth rate. Those are things uh, that count as evidence. Okay, so we're going to go through this example here. Okay, so I'll read it. So cigarettes should be outlawed in the U.S., they are the number one cause of heart disease. Secondhand smoke also causes serious heart problems. Therefore, as a smoker, not only are you compromising your own health, but also that of those around you. And so then the question is, and really this is good, good advice for any of the passages, is you figure out what the question is before you start reading, right? So is there relevant and sufficient evidence that smoking should be outlawed in the US? So this is a little bit tricky in that uh, they do have some data, right? It says that uh, cigarettes are the number one cause of heart disease, so that is that's data. Um, but you got to remember, there the question is: Should smoking be outlawed in the U.S.? Right? Not is smoking bad for you, or does smoking even cause death? Right? Because there's lots of things that are bad for you, right? Um, you know, alcohol is bad for you. Um, it relieves some stress, but it's bad for you in this very similar way that cigarettes are. Um, so what you're really looking for in something like this is, is there a precedent uh, or something comparable that uh, would lead us to thinking that cigarettes should be outlawed, right? And that's what you would be looking for. So data of like comparable things to cigarettes, that would be evidence uh, for outlawing cigarettes, where this uh, is a good uh, a good argument that cigarettes are bad for you, but uh, would not be relevant and sufficient evidence that smoking should be outlawed in the U.S. So that's how you would answer that question. And the only other real thing, so there's a bunch of examples that are just like this, the only other real thing that you would expect to see within arguments is understanding what underlying underlying premise or assumption actually means. Right, so either of those, an underlying premise or an assumption, is always unstated, right? And so always within these types of questions, if they say what is the assumption, and then they're going to say like a a couple of the answer choices are going to be things that were actually stated in the passage, right? And so those are for sure going to be the wrong answers. So you definitely want to know that is that uh, the assumption is going to be something that's implied or unstated.